so hi guys I hope that I am safe to this video here I actually I'm tucked away in this community garden out here in Harlem and it looks like it's safe but then the gate is like halfway open and then there's this bicycle here with this construction vest sitting on it so I'm like is it temporarily open I don't know but we'll, we'll figure it out so before I start Hmm. Hold on, let me see. What the hell is happening? It's like the gate is like halfway open. So I'm assuming it's okay. Alright. Before I start, you guys, how are you guys doing? So I've been thinking, right? Now you guys know I live in New York City. I moved to New York from Atlanta, Georgia in 2014. So I've been here for a good little while. I'm not a new New Yorker. I'm not new to New York. Um, though I did leave New York back in 2016 and I moved to LA for four years to pursue my doctoral studies. And so I came back in 2020. But I've been thinking because it's like about that time. Granted, I have been renting for my entire life. I have not purchased a home yet. So, I feel like it's time. It's time to take it up a step. And, of course, I am single at the moment. However, <laughs> single being unmarried, right, with no kids at the moment. However, I've been thinking about other places and you guys know like i'm a very open-minded free-flowing free-spirited person so i am not bound to one geographical location or area uh, for me you know the world is mine so i like to travel i like to explore and i was actually on this live video i'm keep looking up because i'm gonna make sure that i don't get locked in okay <laughs> making sure i do not get locked in here i don't know what the hell is happening over there Making sure I do not get... Okay. Alright, we gotta find out. So, a guy just walked in here. Oh, shit. It looks like it was open. I'm like, it looks like it's open. Hold on. Just making sure he don't lock me in. So, I was on his live video. I follow this um, Instagrammer who lives in Philly. And... Well, I follow several people who live in Philly, right? Of course, the first and foremost person being my hubby. No, I'm just <laughs> first of all, I have to let you guys know that I am completely trolling this entire video, okay? Is it open? Is it open? Who is that? <laughs> you just walked in? Yeah. Yeah, I just walked in because I thought it was like an open park. Hi, I'm good. I'm open for now. Okay. My name is Eddie. I'm one of your tenants to the garden. Hi. Welcome. I'm Danielle. It's called La Cuevita. La Cuevita? La Cuevita in Spanish. Okay. English is the cave. That's the name of this book garden. It feels just like a cave. No wonder why I decided to come over here. I yeah, was no, trying. Okay. I was just trying to mess with like... my car. I'm trying to get a parking across the street. Okay. I left the gate open. You're more than welcome to sit for a minute. Okay, so thank you. You're welcome. So great. So... Um, so this video is a complete troll video, by the way, but I just felt like, I feel like it's a good opportunity for me to also just explore and express my thoughts on the possibility of perhaps moving to another state in the northeastern region of the U.S. So, you know, I have a big crush on this particular person. I'm not going to say his name. You guys know who followed me. And I've had this crush for a while. In fact, okay, about the dream. I, I didn't tell you guys what the dream was, but I had a dream. Not last night, but the night before about my crush. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it happened, yo. This is not the first time I had a dream about him, by the way. This is probably like 
the seventh or eighth, no, I won't say that many times. I would say maybe fourth or fifth time that I actually had a dream about this person. But it went through, like it went all the way through. Now I'm not gonna say what it is, but put two and two together. It went all the way through, you guys. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And the position, y'all, his favorite position was doggy style. I was just like, oh shit, this shit feels so freaking good. And the funny thing, like the the way he presented, and I'm just making sure I don't get locked in here, y'all. Because I, I used to climb gates and fences, but uh -uh. <laughs> not anymore. But so um the way he like presents in real life and the granted i never met him in real life right but the way he presents in real life he showed up the same way in the dream same like personality demeanor and everything and so he had invited me to his place actually he was like on tour during doing a lecture right and he had invited me over i came through and like of course, he's focused, like, on his lecture and getting ready and everything like that. And, yo, he put me over his leg. He put me over his knee, yo, and gave me a spank. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, where is it? where did this dream come from? Granted, like I say, I do not, I'm not thinking about this person before I go to bed. All right? Like, my mind is on something totally different. In fact, I have not really been watching his videos lately anyway. I'm actually been staying away from it because I don't know his his attitude nowadays is just completely repulsive toward to to me. Like I don't I'm not feeling it. I think he's getting ready to close this shit down. He was like he about to go across the street, but it seemed like he's coming back. So I'm like, what is he doing? I don't think I have much time, but let me try to wrap this up really quick. I might have to come back and do a part two. <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't like his, like, perspective. And then this guy just shook my hand. Like, ugh. Why are you going to shake my hand? I get it. I'm a beautiful woman. But come on, you guys. Ugh. I'm touching my face. All right. So, it's like, yeah, I don't like the, his his approach, his personality. He's just changed. He's become, like, more self-centered, more egotistical. And that, to me, is a turnoff. Because it shows, like, low self-esteem. It shows insecurity when a person is that way. So, um, I haven't been following, like, his page as I used to. Like, I don't really watch these videos. Like, when he goes live, I may, like, click in and watch a few minutes of it. But I can't sit through it because, like, yeah, I just don't, I don't like his approach, right? I like, I mean, I like a confident man, clearly. I like an alpha man, but you can tell between confidence and insecurity. And it's coming out very... Um, he's giving like insecurity, egotistical vibes. So I remember, y'all, in the dream, he, he bent me over his knee and gave me a nice, uh, wholesome spanking. And then, like, he mm, put me in a position. Granted, I like missionary, I like doggy style, but I think in the dream, I went to get in the missionary position. And he flipped me over and put me in doggy style. And the rest is history, yo. And granted, yo, when I say he, it, it went all the way through to fruition, it went all the way through to fruition where he ejaculated, yo. He ejaculated in me. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be pregnant. So I was just like, oh, my freaking gosh, yo, this shit is lit. And then I woke up from the dream, and I'm just like, damn, why couldn't this be freaking real? But I think in the dream, I knew it was a dream, though. So that's an aside. But um, I was watching this video earlier today where it's this guy. He lives in Philly, in North Philly. And he always talks about how he has three mortgages, right? So... I was curious to see, like, yo, first of all, why you got three mortgages, right? Now, this is a separate person from my crush. This is a person, he's another, like, um, he's another conscious, I would say, I don't, would I call him a leader? I don't know, I would say influencer. He's more of an influencer. Funny enough, he was on, <laughs> he's on POF, he's reached out to me. I don't think he knew who I was on POF when he reached out to me. 
but I let him know, like, yo, I follow you on IG, and I've been in a, a, a few, uh, several of your lives, um, but yeah, he tried to hit on me, and I, I told him, like, nah, <laughs> can't do it, bro, can't do it, because he's very hyper-sexual, hyper-focused, um, like, on sex, and nah, he not, I'm not really attracted to him physically, I think he about to kick me out, y'all, I'm gonna have to come back and do part two, we'll see, um, he told me I can sit over here for a little bit. And so, he always talks about how he has three mortgages, and it just made me think, like, given I'm at that point in my life when I'm kind of, I'm ready to purchase, you know, like, I'm a full-time psychologist, I'm about to be licensed this year, my salary is drastically increasing, yo, girl got bank, so it's just like, why spend that on an apartment why well, spend it on rent when I can just be purchasing a home and have much more space have a yard so it crossed my mind to ask this person like how much is a, a three to four bedroom home in Philly and the guy he was telling me that oh it's very expensive he was like the cost of real estate has gone up but he didn't really say how much so that prompted me to go and do my own research and I looked online and i see like yo nice three four bedroom homes in philadelphia go for like half a million dollars like i would say a range so like from three to five to seven hundred thousand dollars which i think is a good deal compared to how much real estate goes for here in new york city right and i'm looking at the homes and two-story two-level homes three four bedrooms three baths you know brick like very spacious a lot of uh yard space front back side yard so i'm just like damn i can see myself in that right and the thing is like if i'm looking at pictures and i can see myself in that space it's just like why not yo i think it's calling me now here is the thing right now they may have very attractive real estate uh, and real estate prices in Philly compared to New York City, but it's like, do I want to leave New York? I do not. You know, I, I feel like New York is my home. I've made it my home. I'm bound here. Um, I think it's just like a cosmic pull that's keeping me here, and it's just much more to do. I feel like this is my best place where. It has, like, it's very fertile soil, right? Very fertile ground, uh, metaphorically speaking, in the sense that I feel like I can just flourish and grow and I'm continuing to grow. Like, this is a place, aside from Los Angeles, that I've lived in, that I've, like, grown the most in all aspects of my being. So, why would I leave a place that I feel like is so fertile and has so much opportunity for me to grow? People often ask me, like, why... Did you decide to leave Florida, of all places that we know Florida is a major travel, travel destination? Why did you decide to leave your home state of Florida to come to New York? I'm like, first of all, I didn't leave there to move here. I actually left Florida and I moved to Atlanta, Georgia. I lived there for a while, did my damn thing. Got a chance to experience Black Hollywood. I was, I was in a, several movies, actually several movies and se several television shows that did that. And then I left from there when I felt like I was outgrowing Atlanta and I moved to New York City So in 2014. And then from there I moved to L.A. I feel like he's trying to kick me out. So let me just uh, let me wrap this up. But I'm going to continue. I'm going to come back with the part two. So feel free to drop your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Should I move to Philadelphia to be with hubby? <laughs> Yo, I feel like this is the thing. I've never been to Philly. Have I, I haven't been to Philly, but something is telling me, like, I need to take a vacation that's not too far away. I need to just travel and to venture out to other places, and I've heard a lot of great things about Philadelphia, so I think I may book a little mini vacation to Philadelphia soon, and take you guys with me, and I'm just going to explore um the city check out i heard they have some like really nice museums get in touch with like the historical part and the artistic part of philly and then i want to check out some real estate <laughs> yo and then 
who knows what could happen. I mean, we all know that my crush lives in Philadelphia. Um, I don't know. I'm like, I haven't really paid attention to what his travel schedule is, and like his tour schedule, right? I don't know, but listen, that shit will be lit, y'all. It will be lit. And Philly, I think, is how many hours is Philly from New York? I don't know. How many hours is Philly from here? So I could fly or I could just like rent a car and drive. I think driving would be a better option. Just the scenic route, get to explore. It's like, why not? I think I'm gonna go ahead and book that trip. But then I feel like a part of me will be missing something. I can't leave New York, y'all. I cannot move away from here. It's just, it's not gonna happen. It's hard for me to even leave the Upper East Side where I live, up in Manhattan, yo. I've been thinking about like leaving Upper East Side and moving to like Brooklyn somewhere else but i can't just can't do it i feel very attached to a place and like when i make a place my home especially when i've had like many great positive reinforcing experiences there it's hard for me to turn away and leave so i don't know i don't think that i'm going to be leaving new york city let alone upper east side but then I think that's, that'll be my challenge, right? To just step outside my comfort zone and see what else is there. Because <laughs> the world is such a big place. But on that note, I'm about to end this video because I feel like... I feel like that I'm getting kicked out. But check this out. Check out where I'm at, you guys. So I came to this community garden here. It's a very small space, but he says they call it the cave. I like it. I like that little tree house there. Not really tree house, but it's like what is what kind of house do you call this? I remember when I was younger, yeah, I said I wanted a tree house. That was like one of my dreams to build like a nice tree house, yo. So a little house, a little tiny house like this. This is cute. Alright, but let me go. Come back. Let me do a part two. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Love you guys. I'm actually about to go through Harlem and might go grab me some food. So I'll probably come back and do a separate video. Peace.